Hello, Mark Attacks TV. Uh, Dale and John, Dale and Andy, great to have you on. Oh, yeah. uh, I know it's working, but it's like trying to fit things around and that. Uh, so there's quite a bit to get through. We're going to be touching on extra game, transfers or uh, transfer rumours, players getting injured in a, an in-house friendly and game coming up. So there's quite a bit to go through. Where do we start? Um, yeah. First off, I mean, Dale... I feel for fans what travelled all that, that way down to be called off such late time. I mean, surely, for me, we could have called it off in the morning because it wasn't as if we are going to have tropical weather halfway through midday, was it? You know what I mean? We're frozen pitch right for the last couple of days. So, yeah. poor decision, mate. Very. Very, mate. Um, I, 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 luckily, I wasn't one of them. Um, I was at work. But... <sighs> I mean, surely, surely, like, groundsmen or officials who were probably already there or um, people of Exeter Football Club would have, you know, would have spotted that hmm. the pitch wasn't playable. Hmm. It, it, you know what I mean? A frozen pitch is a frozen pitch. What I don't think it I don't I don't think it was a debate about is it gonna take a stud? I think it was gonna take an ice skate. I don't know about hotels in that game, mate, it? Honestly, mate, it, it's 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 the, the mind boggles on how football officials work mm. sometimes. It, it's I mean, four and a half, five hours to get there. I mean, to call it off at four of what it four o'clock? About eh, four, four o'clock, wasn't it? Yeah. And yeah. and then what down Ruard called their game off. At one, yeah. So, what does that say to you? You know what yeah. I mean. I mean, surely, surely you can see early morning that the pitch isn't going to be playable. Yeah, they haven't got under soil eating, which is a joke in itself. I think an apology is not enough. I think mm. refunds need to be given out. I think, um, I think free coach travel needs to be given out. On rearranged fixture. I mean, fair play to Barnes. I mean, because they were disappointed and all, weren't they? I mean, they, they come out yeah. and they made a, a complaint to EFL, didn't they? Saying that, you know, it's not as if we're like, you know, 10, 15 minutes around the corner kind of thing. It's it's a fair old journey going down, especially midweek, even more people. Yeah. I mean, I read, uh, Andy, that uh, well, one guy took two days holiday, £125 it cost him travel. And yeah. just afraid to get called off, so he's, he's not going to get it back, is he? You know what I mean? No, nah, where's the journey? Nah, it, it's it, it, it was just disgusting that how it was handled, and I, I, I just agree with everything that you both said there. Um, I mean, first, I, I want one because, well, for starters, I couldn't afford it. Um, secondly, I was working, so uh, but even if me and Maddie did, um, um I'd want refund. I, I won't put it replay. Uh, well, uh, rearrange one, shall we say? Um, well, just out of principle, and uh, it's a, it's a, it's not exactly dark road, is it? Um, no, it, it was shocking. Um, yeah, um, and as, as Dale says, they got on the soil eating, which you know, in twenty twenty three now, uh, a professional football club uh, should be doing more than just putting. Um, well, just covering what three quarters at pitch up uh, mm. with tarpaulin. Um, the professional football clubs at the end of the day, um, yeah. And- I mean, next to one of the clubs, aren't there? There's a fair few clubs in, in the league that were in at the minute, and like I say, the professional football club, you like to think we've got some kind of better things in place. I mean, I mean, I remember back in time, it used to be uh, like eaters under. Uh, eat a yeah. bottles under things, what they might be not even got back. So you know, I remember I, um, I went to Middlesbrough once and it got called off at half time. And mm. yeah. I, I, bet it were, I bet that pitch back then were a lot, lot worse than what Exeter's were. But, mm. um, and it didn't even kick off. Well, I went, um, I went to Plymouth that year when it got called off at half time. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I think were we, we were about like, five notes up or something. Yeah. And yeah. it got yeah. called off at half time. And yeah. I mean, give us win. They didn't even yeah. give us a win. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? I had to get rearranged. Yeah, but yeah I remember yeah. that. Yeah, I remember that one. Yeah, so I mean, just coming off it, club reached out. I mean, it was kind of a good gesture in one way, but it's kind of backfired. Um, you know, they had an announced game deal on Saturday. I'm trying to think of the days we were yeah. on uh, Saturday. I mean, 
I, I get we, uh, you know, Duff and Matt come out and thank fans for journey and stuff like that. I thought it would just for uh, fans that made it uh, for away journey, but apparently someone said, "Oh no, what seen ticket holders and all they got an invite," but I, yeah. I, I didn't kind of thing. Um, but again, it's kind of it could only happen to Barnsdale. Matty Wolf <laughs> picks up an injury. Looks looks like waiting on the scans, but it might be out for the season. Aidan Marsh felt his hamstring go so it's I mean whammy. why what 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 was the point in it I mean yeah it's good for kids and and stuff like that but play play a professional football team play another team that's not in FA Cup play mm. a European team that's still on their international break you know I'm, all that if we, if, we, if we could have like rearranged like a um, a game and that kind of thing, wouldn't it? If, if yeah. it'd been feasible, because you want a fair cut with, yeah, oh, yeah. Shout about or that, another yeah. game in, or a, or a game in and game, like, yeah. Oxford, yeah. rearrange, yeah, Oxford. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? We're going to Oxford on a Wednesday night. Why not play it on that Saturday? Hmm. Oxford weren't even in FA. Cup. I don't. Well, no, they weren't. Mother, except uh, Oxford. I don't even think they're in FA Cup now. I, hmm. I, I mean, why, why, why play each other? What's the point in that? You do that in training. I mean, yeah, I get it. It's good for you know for youngins to get out and do something instead of being inside on their Xbox or all stuff like that. But I mean, play play a team that's not playing. You know yeah. what I mean? Or play a like you said, Neil. Play a a call, another called off game. Play a yeah. you know instead of going to Oxford on a Wednesday night. Yeah. Play it there. Yeah, good but, shot. Yeah, at, at I mean, and especially at ten o'clock in the morning. Were you at ten ten o'clock in the morning and all? Ten a.m. in the morning, I think it was. Yeah, yeah. What? what, what I mean, people working uh, and stuff like. But yeah, good shout on that. Yeah. There's some, there's some strange goings on at our football club. I'm telling you now, there's some, there's some not I'm right. On, yeah, I'm glad you're saying that because it's kind of lead, lead on to my next one there. But so, Andy, before we get to Oxford game, obviously that's going to be coming up. Like what Dale were on about there, midweek game Wednesday night. Lovely trip away, in it again. Um, <laughs> again, baffling for me. Some decisions, I don't get this one. I kind of get it that I'm gonna wear this. I kind of get it that Walton's out of contract in the season, and yep. a club's came in and it looks like it's gonna be Luton Town. And yep. he's going, looks like he's gonna be going. And now it's been signed yet. If you're watching this, and if it goes out, it probably will do. Strong links is going to Luton Town. Mm -hmm. But in return, apparently we gain their goalkeeper or reserve goalkeeper, Harry, is, is at Kasuma on loan until end of the season. So why, I, I, I don't get this, me. Why are we taking a, a goalkeeper on loan when we've got Jamie Searle, who was supposed to be his third choice and move up? I just don't get where... Yeah, we sell Jack Walton. Uh, obviously, uh, Duff's seen summer or not seen summer and... He's going to go, so we're getting money for him. But it'll be an undisclosed fee because it normally is. We, we always we get used to that, like now. But yeah, what's so your take money. on it? Getting selling a goalkeeper, but getting a goalkeeper on loan. I, don't, I just don't get that. No, it's it's weird. I I, I don't get it at all. Um, yeah, I, I don't think if Walton goes, we, we do need another goalkeeper. But uh, like personally, I think at minute. Sorry, Andy, but personally, think right. I think at minute. We're having too many loan loan uh, loan yeah, signings coming it, in. It, it, it's it's another loan position that I personally think's wasted. Um, I mean, I, I've seen still play a few, not many, but a few games for like under twenty threes, and is it's nowhere near ready for this team. Mm. You know, it mm. is it's not brilliant, put it that way. And all mm. due respect to him, um, you know, um, it's probably I don't know. I want to be generous and say probably still trying to get used to, I don't know, English football or whatever. But uh, it reminds me a bit... Uh, with back still gelling, then, Andy? Oh, no, don't get me started. Don't get... <laughs> it sorry, reminds mate, me a bit... Uh... You were leaving it wide open for me, mate, to come in from that one. Sorry, mate. Yeah, go back. <laughs> it reminds me a bit, uh, going back it there, as Paul Malcolm. Uh, a, great, a great big giant there, but... Uh, Probably one of the easiest keepers to put ball yeah. past. Um, it is no, it, it is not ready. And it, yeah, if Walton does go, we, we do need somebody else to step up because I, I won't fancy sell 
um, being thrown in for Steam It League. Mm-hmm. But yeah, a, a weird one. And I don't blame Walton. I'm surprised he's lasted this long, uh, just sat up bench. Mm. Um, I ain't got a problem with Walton. I think um, when it's he's been serving, it's been, yeah, it's yeah. Been he, des- he deserves first team football, definitely. He does. He does. He's a first team keeper, um, yeah, without with a doubt. Um, and w- when he's been called upon, I don't think uh, he's done much wrong. Um, so yeah, I'm, I think we've done well to keep him this long. Uh, yeah. Honestly, do. And we, being at uh, contract end of season, obviously get what bit of money we can. It can get used better, all being well elsewhere. Yeah, which kind of goes on to transfers, Dale. I mean, yeah, last forty eight hours ago now, mate. Uh, all the Shaw's been strongly linked from Kilmarnock, is it? A striker, and apparently he's yeah. got good reviews and stuff. But have you seen know? his record? <laughs> Not good, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to hype it up a bit here, Dale, because we've got Max Waters, who's like still match fit. Yeah. Not. Uh, <laughs> Ted Itch, who's supposed to be coming back, who's not Ooh. really ripping up trees. Ted Itch. You know that, tall, right. that big signing we've got from Man City? Oh, uh, yeah. That one. Yeah. Um, and I, I, before people say, yeah, but we've got no money, this sort of, I totally get that. I totally get that. But when you look at the loan players we're still carrying at minute, who's not really doing out for me? Uh, I'm not going to... Mention names because people know names. There's enough loan players out there, and you can pick and choose who you want. So it's unfair for me to like single up because we'll say, "What about him? What about?" So the loan players we've got, I would say there's probably two. I think we could end the loan deals for him to go back and utilize it better elsewhere. I don't know what you all think about that, uh, Dale. Um, first of all, I think our transfer window has been. For the past three years, a joke. I do, honestly. Um, I think, I think we've got to. I mean, this all this Ollie Shaw, his record doesn't speak. At last, I, it it doesn't speak volumes again. Um, I mean, it's not looking good, Neil, is it? I mean, Fleetwood are after Jack Marriott, and who was actually a goal giving. Have yeah. they got him? They've got him. Got I, him. I, I believe they've got him, yeah. yeah. I don't know right. if got him. Yeah. I mean, I saw that. And, and we're after a player that doesn't score many goals in Scotland, so... Jack Marriott, yeah. I saw that. I thought, oh, God. Get in. Yeah. Show an intent. Yeah. yeah. But we're Barnsley Football Club, aren't we? We don't mm. show intent. We show a bit of lack of cowardness and a bit of... I won't say a cowardice, I just think it's like a bit of a lack of ambition and a bit of we we get getting players to hopefully do a job for us and at this moment yeah. in time we don't need them to come in and hopefully do a job. We need to come in and do a job. Listen, like, if, if he hits if he hits you know. the ground running and mm-hmm. gets scoring goals, then fair enough. But his goal scoring record like Devante Cole wasn't pulling up many trees. So if we get him, fair enough, but we still need another three. Three or four signings. If it'll yeah. happen tomorrow, then it'll happen today or tomorrow, won't it? So, yeah. um, another another left back for me. A left back definitely needed an attacking mid. Uh, another striker, and possibly another centre mid, possibly. Um, especially if uh, Aidan no, Marsh and Wolf are out. So, yeah. um. Yeah, I'm. I'm not. I, I don't know. Really, know what to say because it's been abysmal, Neil. Just go, just going off what Dale's saying, there, man, Andy. I mean, like I say, players that we've got in up to now. Max Waters still, you know, trying to get up to match speed. Uh, Barry Cotter again, another player what's got good reviews. Apparently, uh, played well on Saturday. Yeah, got good reviews. Yeah. Uh, he did well at Ipswich before, unfortunately. Mick McCarthy got the boot and then he went back to Ireland. So, again, we might have a bit of a gem beer, but it's like we're open, aren't we? Um, where we are at the minute, you'd like to think, I mean, like Jack Marriott, I mean, them the kind of players surely you've got to be looking at and thinking to elevate that a bit more. I mean, what would you say? I mean, hindsight's a great thing. You're looking at players and areas at the minute where we're lacking. 
Um, mm. we, all, we all know what front we're lacking for here, but I, I'm looking at back as well. I mean, we've got back Barry Thomas. He looks a, a decent uh, defensive yeah. unit when he came in. Yeah. Again, a lot on loan. Again, I get back so if there's a good season with us for the rest, would we be able to get him? Or was he going to go back to his parent club? And I think he'll probably go back to his parent club, um, which would be a shame. But considering transfer window up to now, Andy, what would you like to see happen? Well, let's not rule out that players might actually go as well tomorrow. Um, well, Duff said he don't want it to happen, but we all know that Cash is king, don't we? Yeah, if somebody comes in with a deft amount uh, mm. for whether it's Williams, Anderson... Anyone. Um, I think if we keep Anderson, I'll, I'll be surprised. I, I know they're saying uh, they're hoping that somebody don't come in for players, but they, they must be half expecting it. They've got to be. Mm. Um, I mean, I, I think uh, we've had that full-back on loan, we? I think he played the other day in that friendly, that Wellens... Um, Oh I mean, yeah, uh, Charlie Wellens. Yeah, yeah. From, he scored a from goal actually. Manuel. He scored a goal. Yeah, and all. yeah. Scored a goal. Adic, Apparently, he did his game and all. Hard it because I was working. Um, mm. What what score anyway? Fit. What what score? Um, the drill, I think, didn't they? I think it was three three, wasn't it? Something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I know um, a couple of lads what went and they said about that Charlie Wellens and that what uh, what you said, deal that Barry. Uh, they they had a decent uh, turnout, yeah. like so. And, and I think that defender played him from non-league, but uh, I don't know if you've seen it. He's actually left that non-league. Oh, it's club. massive, that, isn't it? Trust so, me. Have you seen I, it? Have I, you seen I, state of art? I, I've seen what they put out. So that could be like, is it worth hassle? No, <laughs> I don't know. No, because if know. he plays, you can't pay him. He's no, not officially so, entitled to work in in UK. Yeah, <laughs> so I I got a clue what's happening there. Um, I want. If it one of them, me, I'd just like to say, yeah, it might be a good kid, but until you get that paperwork sorted out, I won't even entertain it. No, prob- really probably. It's like another like Alari situation, isn't it? Yeah, it does. It does, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I, I've noticed Oxford signed, just signed a player as well. I've known uh, a forward from Forest. No, mate, I haven't. Uh, he'll, he'll probably be uh, making his uh, debut against us uh, on Wednesday. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's. It, I, I think tomorrow's going to be interesting. Um, Honestly, do but yeah, we, we, we definitely need bodies in, not just body spots taking it. Players that can actually come in and play, and mm. we, we're not trying to get other uh, teams' players up to speed because um, that is beginning to bug me now. It's like Ted Hitch and um, that Waters. Mm. Um, we, we, we've signed them, at, yeah, but on loan, but when they're not fit, it's well, we do it hard way, um, and and that's well, what's. I on, I honestly thought that Tedic went back to Man City. He has. He's gone back to Man City. Oh, he was rehab, but he's coming back sometime in February. Back to Barnsley. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but, so, yeah. But I've got a friend who's a Cardiff City fan, um, and he messaged me last week. Uh, he wanted about like, Max Waters, and he said. <laughs> He'll run about, but that's about it. He'll oh, um, we've oh, so we've got another road runner so, then, have we? That's what he told me. So, uh, so it's one of them. I mean, we're going on to Oxford game like now because again, games in hand, we need to start picking points up. I mean, I'm just looking at the table here. Yeah, we're six and we've played 25, uh, 43 points. But behind us, you've got Peterborough, uh, Wickham, Shrewsbury, all on 41, Exeter on 38, Portsmouth on 37. Not a million miles away from us, so we need to start picking points up. I mean, tricky, mm. uh, tricky trip per uh, Dale away at uh, Oxford midweek yep. game. Uh, how can you see this one going? Oh, well, it, it, it needs to be another Accrington performance, mate. I think, um, dominate game. Mm. Um, I think last time we went to Oxford, what it uh, did we draw or what it a loss? I think last time we went to Oxford, I can't remember. It was last time we were in, we were in League One. I think. Um, I think we've got to keep. Is it Cameron Bar- Brannigan? I think mm. um, Sam Winnall. He still mm. plays for him. Um, I don't know if he's, you know, a first team starter like. But no. we've got to. We've got, we've got to hit him hard. We've got to. It's got to be an another Accrington performance, in my opinion, mate. I think 
Yeah. Get that early goal, get their heads down a little bit, um, and then try just try and defensively dominate. Use that midfield, you know, get Luke Connell on ball. He were amazing against Accrington. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think that three points now at this stage of the season, it's gaining into, you know, the, the, the final stretch. You know, it's February now, you know, it's... I think... I mean, how many games in hand have we got? Is it three or four? I think it's like three or four, isn't it? Well, yeah. Uh, Bolton have got 29 games. We've played 25, so we've got four. Right, so there's twelve points there. But so... we need to we need to pick points up, don't we? I mean, I'm looking at like Oxford. We've lost the last two. Uh, the, the last two games we've lost Oxford. Yeah. So we'd like to think they're on a bit of a not a, a downer, but I mean, what can happen? Can't it midweek and that when mm-hmm. when we haven't played? Um, Andy, I mean Oxford. It's it's one of them grounds, one of them sides. You don't know what's going to turn out. Uh, yeah. I get where Dale were like saying there's a couple of players you need to keep an eye on, but it could be one of them where they could like camp up, sit up, and either get a scruffy one note or be happy for the draw, mate. Yeah, uh, the weird side Oxford, you don't know what to expect with him, do you? Uh, mm-hmm. I think they're 14th at the minute, aren't they? Um, mm-hmm. And yeah, like I say, I know they've got that new striker today, what they've just signed from Forest. So, I thought you know, he'll be. Him. He'll be up for it. He'll be wanting to make a name for his son as well, do you, isn't he? So, um, yeah, tough one. I, I, I'll be honest, I think I'd take a draw now. Um, but it all, I, I think it all depends what happens tomorrow. Um, but going back uh, to transfer deadline, do you, we, think, we know... do you think Andy, when you just said it depends what happens tomorrow, do you think even if a player came in tomorrow, I'd it, it won't be starting, would it? It won't be starting, would it? No. no. Whether it be no, on bench, that's another thing. Yeah, I know that, that that's uh, that's a thing as well, isn't it? Um, but yeah, um, it, it's always been disappointing, and it transfer deadline. Um, yeah, a, a difficult one to call. I, I think I'd like I said, I'd take a draw on army. You take a draw, Dale. Yeah. I mean, Andy just said we'll take. Oh, before I continue, Dale, Andy, it would be who's going to be a more. Who would be your most influential player for Barnes on night? Then do you think? Um, Jack Walton. Uh, now, um, <laughs> <laughs> Anderson. 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 Good call. Yeah. yeah, good call. Yeah, Dale. I mean, Andy's gone via Anderson, uh, and he's gone. Mm-hmm. He'd be happy with a draw at this moment in time. Well, obviously we're going for a win, but what do you think we'd be doing? Um, I think we've got to go for a win, mate. The games, mm. the games in hand. The, you know, we, we've got to win those games in hand. If it were a normal game, if it were a, not a, like an arranged game or mm. all like that, then I would have took a draw. But it's a game in hand. It's one of them games that we need to win. Um, and I think Portsmouth away is an, another um, yeah, Saturday. Yeah. game yeah. in hand at all, isn't it? Mm. So there's two there's two games there that we need to get winning. Yeah. Um, mm. I think we've got to go for it. jugular. We've we've got to we've got to go for it, mate. Um, I think I'm hoping team stays it's as it is, um, like it did against Sacrington. Mm-hmm. Um, it's it's a tougher in it because Oxford have been they're they're a, they're a tough side to break down. They're a tough side to play against. Very I think it's a, it's a tricky ground to go to. To be fair, it's, it's like it's one a, of them. It's only like three sides, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Mm. So wind could play a factor if it's windy. Um, mm. So we, you know, I, I don't know how many is going down there, but I, we've got to support boys and and mm. I think I'm hoping for a win. I, I mm. think we will win. Mm. I hope we do because it's just one of them games that we've got to win. Um, you're talking about like the team who would replay who's going to be stuff like that. I think it's got to stay the same. And I think uh, Norwood and Aitchinson, I'd stick with them. Norwood a great game, Norwood. I thought it did. a really good game. Yes, the yeah. best game he's had for us, mm, I think, mm. Norwood, because yeah. he, he put him centre back, he scored a goal. Yeah. He, I think he'd set one up as well. Yeah. Um, well, me were my man at match for me. Yeah. He, he mm. was. He, it weren't it weren't man at match, but not in my opinion. But hmm. you know, it, 
that's other people's opinion, but I think I think team's got to stay the same, Neil. Mm. It's got to stay the same because it's a winning team. Um, so yeah, mentality's got to be up. Stay the same and going for a win. I mean, I agree. Uh, I think trying all being well. There's been no after effects, and you know we've come through game. We know niggles don't like that in training as well because they've been training. Um, as regards the result, I don't know. I, 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 I want to win, of course we do, away. I just think it's a tricky ground. If, see, I'm going to say 1-1, one, one, but I think if we can set off what like we did against Ackerton and Norwalk and Mekison and Yulsons, mm. I, think, I think we could do it 2-1, but I just think it's going to be a draw. I, I know transfer wind is going to, you know, get on about that. Um, we've been on about that with players and that coming in or possibly coming in and going. But I think even what happened at transfer window, is that it's not having an effect as such on the Oxford game because I think they'll have already like, prepared for this with players what we've got. Going on from that, Portsmouth and onwards, and obviously it, it might prove a key because you've got players coming and possibly going out. Uh, I'm going to say... I'm going to say... Blah, 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 2-1 Barnsley. It's going to be close. I think it's going to be a close game. And I think Luke O'Connell is going to have a... A part to play in this in midfield to try and pick ball up and try and dictate and try and get things rolling because Benson has been out, Matty Wolf's been out, and there seems to be only now Connell, Luca Connell, trying to pick up the piece and trying to get you know where he came alongside him. But uh, you look at Luca Connell, he's wanted to dictate a flow of play, so I'm thinking Luca Connell will probably have a, a key part to play in this. I think we all should. By the way, but I think Luke Connell might be a bit of an engine to start it all going. Um, I think Phillips has done well though, as well. I think he has. Phillips... I don't think he, I think I think since the the goals dried up for him, I think because I think he had a bit of a niggle as well. I think he like went off at boil a bit, but he started to come back into it. Whether it's just mm. that bit of speed or sharpness, come back into it. I don't know. Mm. Um, but yeah, I mean, Andy's going for a <laughs> a draw. He does going for a win. I'm going for a win. Uh, 2 0. 2 0, Dale. Um, Andy's saying that Jack Walton's going to be a man at match, so that's pleasing to know because it might have been a Jack, <laughs> Jack Walton disguise. So here we go. But yeah, thanks for watching. And if you're going down, be careful, take care, and all being well, we're not going to have like 10 foot of snow before we get to the game, so we should all be golden. So yeah, safe journey. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. Let us know your comments. Let us know about your transfer window. Let us know about the journey down to uh, Exeter. Uh, let us know about everything Bouncer related. Uh, do appreciate your comments and taking time out watching this. Uh, so, Dale, Andy, appreciate you taking time out and joining. Uh, no really problem, mate. Uh, one thing left to say, you Reds. <laughs>